Hello guys, welcome back to a new video from me. Today we are testing out the ColourPop Barbie collection. I have here the entire collection. I'm so excited. This is so, so cute. So we are going to be testing everything out, like first impression style review. I have for you the entire collection, the lashes, we have eyeshadow palettes, lip bundles, everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, hello and welcome. Today we are having a bit of a change in the backdrop. I have my pink Barbie backdrop back there. Also, there's like this crinkle that is driving me crazy, but the backdrop is still broken. I mentioned this in another video, but I cannot get it up for the life of me. The little rod thing will not go up. So anyways, that is something that I have been just like struggling with and trying to figure out, but I am going to go with it for today's video, but I'm so excited because we have the ColourPop Barbie collection. This is their Malibu Barbie collection. We have lots of products, so I'm going to dive into everything. We're going to do swatches. As I'm filming this video right now, this available is available on ColourPop.com. I know that it's probably going to, I'm guessing, go fast. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll have everything linked down below. So if you want to check out any of these products, check down in the description box. I'll link everything. But let's go ahead and dive into everything, kind of chat about the collection, and then I'll show you swatches and we'll test it out on the face. So I'm first going to start with the eyeshadow palettes because I feel like that's always like the star of the show. So this is the Malibu Barbie Pressed Powder Palette. Very cute packaging on the entire collection. Also, I want to show you guys the outer carton of this one. So the whole collection has this really fun like unicard into it. There's even a little mirror with this collection, which is so, so cute. It has a little box here that it comes in. I just think it's so fun. They did such a good job with this one. So here is the eyeshadow palette right here. Here's the inside of it. It's definitely a fun Barbie palette. Definitely Malibu. I get those vibes completely. It does have a mirror in it, which I do like. It is a 15 pan palette and I don't see any pressed glitters. So I was excited about that. I was kind of worried with the Barbie theme that we might have some pressed glitters in there, but I don't see any. So let me swatch the palette here. I know I'm already going to do probably probably a blue look because you guys know I love blues and these teals look so pretty. Everything swatched really nicely here. Look at these. So gorgeous. Everything looks really pigmented, really nice, and the shimmers definitely look very foiled. I cannot wait to try this out. I think the color story is fun. If you take apart like those blues, you kind of are left with a little bit more of a neutral palette, which I'm not mad at. I mean, Colourpop has one of my favorite formulas, so anytime they have those fun pops in there, I love, but also I feel like this could be pretty wearable. I mean, knowing you're probably looking at it like staring at those blues and pinks, but take those away, you might have these in your collection. So it might not be one that you're like running to get, but obviously this collection is nostalgic. Like, you know, we all want it because it's Barbie, so that's fun. And then there is also a highlight that is a part of this one as well. So this is the Beach Party Super Shock Highlight. And if you are not familiar with this formula, it's basically a ginormous pan of highlights. And I believe this is going to be, yeah, the Super Shock formula, which is actually my favorite formula from them. I will be honest, I don't love it when they're in these packaging. Like, I feel like it's so bulky, but this is just cute. Like, this is going on my vanity because it's just, <laughs> it's cute packaging. But it is a big highlight when you think about it. So here is it on my hand right there. And I'll give you guys a swatch. It's a really pretty, like, champagne gold shade. And this formula is very easy to work with. You can use your finger, you can use a brush, whatever you prefer. And then I also have a really pretty set of lashes. These are the doll lashes. And I really actually do like ColourPop's lashes. I think they're really nice, very comfortable, and they have a nice band and everything like that. And then there are three lip duos. These have the cream luxe lipsticks in them and then also a lippy pencil. Again, very cute packaging on these. I really do like the luxe formula of lipsticks. It's probably my favorite, I'd say, out of everything. And I love that they have matching lip liners with these. This is special packaging, which is really fun. It's like a clear tube right here. And it has the pink, the little Barbie on it, which is so cute. We have Barbie also there on the side as well. So I'll give a little swatch of this one. They have some of my favorite lip liners. They're very creamy, very nice on the lips. Okay, so it looks like the lip liner is just a tint darker. Maybe, actually, no, they look like they are the same. They are going to be the same shade. So this one I have here is called dream house i feel like that makes sense so this is dream house let me swatch the other two so here are the swatches of all three of the bundles so again this first one here is dream house this next one is called malibu sunset and then we have a golden beach there which is a really pretty nude combo so those are all three of the lip bundles so that is the full collection very fun i like that they have the lip 
um, duos this time. I think that's really nice instead of just like the glosses or just the lip liners. I like that they come in a duo. So I'm sure you can purchase, I'm guessing, the entire PR package. I haven't had a chance to see it on ColourPop's website yet, but I will link everything individually. And then if you can purchase it as a set, I will link that down below as well. So I just prepped my eyes with some of the um, CoverGirl Undercover concealer it's one of my favorites and now we're gonna start with the eyes first so this is the Malibu Barbie palette and like I said I really want to play with those blues so I know that is what I want to do first so I think I'm gonna go into the shade let's go party I like that these also have the little um, stamps in them some of the shades you have like a little palm tree there's a heart a rainbow I definitely played with Barbies a lot when I was younger like a lot a lot I had all of the things I actually had a big, it's called like a, I think it's called an alcove. Um, and it's kind of like a dip in the wall, like where it goes on both sides. And so I would turn those into Barbie houses on each one of my little alcoves. So those would be where my Barbies would live. And I had like the whole setup and I would even like, I used to cut out things from newspapers, like little, like the, you know, like when we used to get like the ads. So it'd be like a Best Buy like the Best Buy, I would cut out like the DVDs and the books and like all that stuff and use that as like stuff for them. I would tape like paper to it, and make like little magazines. I had all of the furniture. I had all of the things. I was like Barbie obsessed. <laughs> so this collection is so fun to me. Next, I'm going to go into this shade Zuma Beach right here. It's this deeper brown. And I'm going to use that on a ColourPop brush. I actually love their brushes. So I'm going to link the brush roll that I really like from them down below as well. This is the E23. I use them so much. So yeah, I was definitely a lover of Barbie. I had all of the Barbie things. I also like that this has a mirror. I didn't mention that, but I do enjoy that. So far, they seem to be performing good. I always get a little bit skeptical, I will be honest, of their collections. Because I have had a couple issues with a few in the past of like their um, curated collections. Like I wasn't a biggest fan of their Candyland one. And so I always get a little bit nervous that the formula is not gonna be the same. But based upon these two mats, it seems like this is their typical formula. So I am glad about that. I also can normally tell from the swatches too, because in the other um, instances, like the Candyland one, it was more of like a drier swatch. And I noticed when I swatched these, they all felt like creamy, like ColourPop's typical formula. I'm going to take the shade Boardwalk and I'm just going to swing that also in the crease with the same brush just to help kind of blend all that together. These definitely seem very rich pigmented as well as you can tell. You guys will have to let me know what your favorite Barbie character was, like what was your favorite set that you had if you had like a certain, I'm going to swing this on the lower, if you had a certain set that you gravitated towards. I know I had like when the mom one came out. There was like a mom set that had Barbie and it had the um like the grandma and the belly that like attached so she was like pregnant and then you could like take the belly off and there was the little baby inside. I loved that set. I had like all the pieces, like all of the little things to it. Um there was like a little toddler and everything. That was probably like my favorite little set that I had. I know a lot of people are like super nostalgic with like keeping all that stuff. I don't have any of my past Barbies. I don't think so, unless if my mom has them somewhere. But I think I gave them all to like my little sister. All right, so now we're gonna grab those fun blue shades. So I'm gonna take Malibu Memories, which is this one. And this looks to be a pressed pigment. A lot of these shades in here actually, I believe are pressed pigments, but this one in particular, I'm gonna make sure to pack on the lid because that's where you're gonna get the most payoff. So I'm gonna use this as a base and then we're gonna go over top of it with that teal glitter shade. So I'm kind of using this to kind of map out where I want to go. I'm trying to get this filmed while Rowan is napping. I actually had a business meeting over the phone and it went like way past <laughs> what I thought it was going to go past. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I have enough time to finish this before he wakes up. I had a doctor's appointment today. I'm currently 30 weeks pregnant as you guys are seeing this video. So it's definitely been flying by this pregnancy. I'm going to go into the shade here. I've been sharing a lot over on my vlog channel. If you aren't following me over there, it's just called Not Just Makeup Molly. And I share a lot of stuff over there. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, yes, so cute. Um, I share a lot of like vlog stuff over there. I've been sharing my 
beauty room updates. You guys know I'm building a beauty room, so I've been sharing stuff over there and that, doctor's visits, everything like that. So if you are not already following me, you definitely can over there. But Rowan decided for this appointment, he was not going to cooperate and he pitched a fit <laughs> at the, like at the office. He was just crying and crying and I was like, oh my gosh. So this was my first experience with him kind of acting out. He's been to a few other appointments with me, but he's never acted like this to where he was like crying and I couldn't get him to stop. He actually was like more of doing his like scared cry, which I'm not sure what that was about. But like when they were checking my, I don't think he, I just don't think he liked them like touching me. Like they were doing, you know, my um, blood pressure and everything. And he just kind of like lost it when they started doing that. So I think he just wasn't loving that they were, you know, touching my belly and stuff, which is okay. He's been so attached to me lately. I almost wonder if he can like sense what's going on. I'm just taking a little bit of blue, bringing it down here. I'm gonna also take a little bit more of that Zuma color and bring that on the outer corner just to kind of deepen this. I did more of like a half, half cut crease kind of thing. That blue actually looks really nice though. I'm kind of gonna tap, I went a little farther. A little bit more on and I'm also gonna put a little bit of brown down here as well for liner I am taking some of the color pop this is their exit liner in just it's just a plain white but it really helps to kind of open the eyes it's one of their cream gels I love these so I'm gonna use that and then we're gonna apply the lashes so first I already curled my lashes actually I am gonna apply a light layer of mascara I'm just gonna use this one from the balm nothing too intense I feel like I have stuff in my brows here. So just a quick little layer here of mascara. Okay, and then we are gonna go in with the lashes. So I definitely think I am gonna have to trim these. So I'm gonna grab my little scissors. I typically have to with most lashes, at least just trim them down a little bit. Lately, I've been actually doing like a half lash. So I've been cutting them like completely in half and just like applying them to the outer portion. But these ones are so pretty, I don't know that I wanna like Cut them but I don't know that I'll cut a ton but I'm gonna take quite a bit off so I can have more of kind of like that flare moment so I'll probably cut do about here so they're kind of about that big now for glue I've been really liking this one from the Lord it's just called their lash adhesive so I'm just gonna use that I'm just gonna put on a light layer and then I'll cut the other one while this dries so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply I always like to use just a pair of tweezers we are gonna use this cute little Barbie mirror and I like to look kind of up but also down if that makes sense and I just place them where I want first kind of just like make sure that's the position I want and then I go ahead and stick them I try not to get too close to the inner corner. You'll kind of see I have like that area right there that has no lash. That's why I cut them down as much as I did because if I have them too close to the inner corner, then I notice that I'm like really uncomfortable and I pick at them a lot. And also they lift a lot more on me too if I do apply them too close. So I kind of just let that sit there a second and then we're gonna go ahead and take the other lash. So do the same thing, look down place it see how that's just kind of like over too much so I'm gonna actually bring it in just a little bit okay so that's a little better so now I'll kind of secure it sometimes I use my fingers to secure it and then other times I use the tweezers and then I always try to pinch my natural lashes to the lash I think we got them secured I wish I would have did some liner with these just because I think the band is a little bit thick so I probably should have did a quick line of liner but that's okay we don't have to do that so I am going to add a little bit of um, black eyeliner just to the top because I feel like that really helps to blend them okay and then a little bit of lower lash mascara now all right and that is it for the eyes I think these turned out really fun I love the kind of like orangey sunset moment now we're going to try out the highlight so I'm just going to go directly in here and apply this to my cheeks so as I mentioned the super shocks are like crazy pigmented so my favorite way to apply them is with a brush but then I kind of always go over it with my finger just to give it a little dim down because they are so so shimmery so if you're someone who likes a blinding like you see how blinding that is if you're someone who likes a blinding highlight then the super shocks is definitely for you I do like a 
oops I like a blending highlight but it needs to be a little bit just a little bit blended for me because I don't want it to like emphasize all this texture over here so I'm gonna put some on my nose I do think this is a pretty nice color I like it a lot do a little bit right here as well I think for me I am gonna go with the nude just because I feel like we have such a colorful eye look going on I want to try out the nude so this one is the sunset um, golden beach so I am just gonna slightly overline here on the bottom this color is actually pretty close to my natural lip uh, lip color so it kind of works out perfectly and then we're gonna take the cream luxe lipstick I really do like a cream lipstick I think it's really my probably my favorite formula just because it's like a little bit a little bit of something I don't really love matte lipsticks so I have a lot of lines in my lips so I think the creams are a little bit more flattering on me in particular but after that you guys I think this is our final look using the Barbie Colourpop Malibu collection you guys will have to let me know what you think down below I feel like my face is looking quite oily um, my skin is kind of like up and down. Sometimes it's oily. Sometimes it's <laughs> looking dry. I just can't keep up. But here is the look, the eye look, the lip, the highlight. I say yes to all of it. <laughs> I think that they all performed really nicely. I love the packaging on everything. It's such a fun collection. And if you are into Barbie or it's nostalgic for you, like it is for me, I think you will really enjoy this one. I don't think you'll be mad at getting any of the products. Um, like I said, I love the lip duos. I love that they did the lip liner with it because they're one of my favorite lip liner formulas. So these are great. I also love the cream um, lipsticks in general, but then also the eyeshadow palette, very cute colors. I love the mirror on here. Like I said, if you are someone who doesn't necessarily love color, there's still some other options in here for you too. Um, I definitely want to play with that yellow next and the pinks in here. Highlight, very pretty. If you're into a glowy highlight, you'll like this one. The mirror, the mirror is just too darling, too cute. So that is it, you guys, for this review. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you found this helpful. Let me know down below if you are planning on grabbing this collection and what you think all over of this look. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe before you go, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, friends.